Hello and welcome, Kitty Catty here. I just want to do a little week of gacha news recap. This is the first video of the kind I'm making. I'm a bit nervous, <laughs> but uh, anyway, here we go. I'm just going to be covering some of the games that, uh, you know, fly on my radar. Um, I'm sure I'm going to miss some of them, but uh, it is what it is. Anyway, hopefully this is useful to you. So, starting with Genshin Impact, the version 5.0 is finally out, bringing the new nation of war, Natlan, as well as its power, Archon. The current Phase 1 banners of the patch are bringing new characters, Muelani, as well as Kachina. In other Genshin news, the drip marketing for 5.1 was revealed on X, formerly Twitter, and it seems like we will only get a single new character next patch. Her name is Shilonen, and she seems to be a 5-star Geo character. I will say, she's... she's gotta be the hottest character in the, ga in the game. It's not even close. It's ridiculous. Anyway, for Honkai Star Rail News, the 2.5 special program went live last Friday, and we've received a lot of information regarding the next patch. A bunch of changes and new addition to the Divergent Universe is incoming, and different quality of life and new features for newer players are also being added to the game. More importantly, information regarding the kit of the next three characters has been announced, and those characters are obviously Fei Shao, Ling Sha, and Mose. Those characters were already deep marketed in the past, and I did cover it if you want to check the video. Additionally, Another drip marketing has been announced for 2.6, this time revealing what seems to be the only new character we'll be getting in 2.6. That character is going to be a 5-star imaginary erudition of the name of Rappa. She is an intergalactic ninja. Finally, last but potentially not least, a Sparkle Firmer Plunge merch has been announced. Be sure to keep an eye on it if you want to snatch yourself an adorable plushie. For Zenless Zone Zero, the hype has been ramping up for Phase 2 of the current patch that will be bringing us the absolutely mind-bending, insanely hot character that is Jane Doe. Now onto Wuthering Waves, we have a new developer's message, the Black Shores preview in said message. They've talked about 1.2, new areas, new characters, new features to be coming. Very cool stuff, especially if you are interested in the cute, fluffy, adorable anchor, we are going to be getting her companion quest. In other non-Hoyoverse related news, Sword of Convaleria has had its new banner, Winter is Coming, debuting Simona. Um, she's a pretty cool looking lady that seems to have quite a fiery temper. On top of her banner, she also has an event uh, that went live not too long ago that uh, kind of covers some of her story, so make sure to check it out if you want to learn more about her. In Goddess of Victory Nikkei, Rei Ayanami is finally available in the current Nikkei X Evangelion collab along with part 2 of the event's story. The co-op mode of the event has also debuted this week, and the solo raid event is soon to be followed. For Girls Frontline 2, more lore has been shared on their official Twitter, uh, giving us more faction intelligence information to sink our teeth into before the global release that still does not not have a date. On top of that, they seem to be adding a Nikkei-style game mode in the future where you get to enjoy multiple assets of the game. For Cat Fantasy that released not too long ago, it has received its August 20th update, adding the new summon events for Dorothy Cageling Wish. Additionally, a collaboration has already been announced, and coming to you soon, in Cat Fantasy, will be multiple cat girls from Nekopara. Stay tuned as they will surely be revealed in time on their official platforms. Now for Azulane, the new ship girl IGN Zhuihu was announced as well as her Joy Comes on Fledgling Wings Dreamland Park themed skin. She is a light aircraft carrier that seems to be proficient in air power and anti-air. 
Additionally, the event Daedal in Im has been added to the permanent pool of war archives and multiple Italian ship girl swimsuit outfits have been permanently added to the skin shop. The next Meta Ship Girl has also been announced to be Nagato Meta. And on top of that, Queen Elizabeth Meta will be permanently added to the dossier analysis. You can expect them both in the next patch. For Brown Dust 2, after the latest maintenance, the beach side Justice Michaela costume has been released. On top of said costume, the event Enjoyed Soul currently has a rerun. If you missed it in the past, now's the time to enjoy its story as well as the many rewards available. Now to finish some of the news that are gacha related. Sadly, but not unexpected, Blue Protocol has had the end of service announced for the Japanese servers after a less than ideal reception over there. It is also obviously cancelled for its global release. Additionally, but unrelated to Blue Protocol, the monthly gacha revenue for the month of August was made available on Sensory Tower, and to the surprise of a lot of the Gacha community, AFK Journey has actually snatched the first place, grossing a total of $71 million phone only, as the game was officially released in China with the addition of the fantastic new character Lini Mei. In conclusion, we've had a lot of new content or announced content, some sad news, some great news, and uh, I think it's been a pretty hectic week. Do let me know if you want me to cover specific games that I might have overlooked. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next video.